Imagine a wise king, educated in law, medicine, and history, dressed in royal robes and a crown, and sitting on a throne. Everyone who comes before him bows low. Now, this part won't be so hard to imagine. Think about a deadly plague that infects the people of his country. No doctor can find a cure for it. In fact, the doctors are dying too. Out of love for his people, the king leaves his throne, takes off his crown, replaces his royal robes with a simple cloak, collects his doctor's bag, and goes out to heal his people. This is what King Jesus did for us. Forever the Son of God had lived in perfect love with the Father and the Holy Spirit. The angels worshipped the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit before the throne of God in a light-filled, joy-filled heaven. But one day, as sin spread like a disease through the earth, the glorious Son of God stepped off his throne. He set aside his glory in obedience to his Father's request to save his people. Because he loved the Father and his people, the Son of God humbled himself took a body like ours, and brought healing to our sin-sick world. But he didn't choose a body like King Saul, taller and more handsome than everyone else, or like Samson, bigger and stronger than everyone else, but to be born to Mary in a stable in Bethlehem. We celebrate Jesus' birth in Bethlehem on December 25th by getting and giving Christmas gifts. As Christmas nears, we wait excitedly for our gifts. We have fun unwrapping our gifts on Christmas morning. Exchanging gifts is a fun Christmas tradition. But did you know it was God who gave the first Christmas gift? In fact, giving is what Christmas is all about. More than 2,000 years ago, with the birth of Jesus, God the Father gave the best present of all time. He gave to us his one and only son. The angels knew the day was coming, and they couldn't wait to shout and sing God's praises. The prophets knew and passed on clues that Israel could look forward to the day their Savior would be born. The wise men knew and traveled a great distance with their own gifts for the newborn king. So each year, when you get excited about Christmas and presents, remember God's gift of Jesus— where all the excitement of Christmas and presents began 